we got calls from parents and teachers about the smell of diesel that they noticed when they went on field trips with their kids. So we took monitoring equipment inside school buses and found that the levels were about four times higher inside the bus compared to outside the bus. Our school buses are diesel powered. Petroleum diesel exhaust is a toxic carcinogen. We know that diesel exhaust is linked to cancer, premature death, and health problems like asthma. Since we can do something about this, it is unimaginable to me that we wouldn't. You know, when you're behind a school bus, you know, you're just taking it in. You taking are. It in. Well, you're putting your shirt over your, and, and our kids are inside those buses, and it's so easy, all these buses can be changed over to biodiesel. I discovered one city that's not gambling with our kids' health. Las Vegas with the Clark County School District has over 1,500 buses that have been operating on biodiesel for almost seven years. They are the largest bus fleet in the world on biodiesel. What do you think if parents knew that putting your kids on a school bus that doesn't have biodiesel is like putting them in a school bus full of cigarette smoke? I think parents don't actually know what's, what's in the fuel. I can tell you that use of biodiesel fuel in those school buses is going to protect those children. We have to care about our kids now, this different generation of kids that we have now. We got to show them, we got to set the tone for them so they'll be able to do the same thing. We ought to be demanding that the school boards throughout this country insist that their fleets use that fuel because it works. Yeah.